So when I do a problem like this, um, again, guys, it's just a matter of knowing your antiderivatives. So we know the antiderivative of secant squared is going to be tangent of x plus the antiderivative of sine is going to be a negative cosine of x. And you can put them in parentheses here first before forgetting about the sine. I think sometimes this gets confusing sometimes, people. Just take the antiderivative of cosecant squared. Don't worry about the antiderivative of negative. Just do cosecant squared. Cosecant squared is negative cotangent. And obviously we have a plus two. Then you can simplify. Tangent of x minus cosine of x plus cotangent of x plus c. So I think if you just, uh, Carlson, isolate the antiderivative and then worry about the signs later and use parentheses correctly, then you'll be OK. Yeah, good? Because I think what's gonna, what happens a lot of times when we do negatives, and you guys can see those antiderivative negatives, what are 